Welcome friend. Today we will determine ketone bodies in a given sample of urine. To perform this experiment, we put out 5 ml of normal urine sample of any individual and transfer it into a test tube. After transfer into test tube, add ammonium sulfate slowly slowly to the test tube and start dissolving it with the help of glass bowl. We have to dissolve the ammonium sulfate till a saturated solution is achieved. Means we have to add spatula of ammonium sulfate to the test tube having urine sample till it stop to dissolve. When there will be a precipitate or there will be a residue of ammonium sulfate uh, below of the test tube we have to stop the dissolving or adding extra amount of ammonium sulfate. So after each spatula we have to dissolve it with the help of glass rod. See there is a more possibility of solubilizing the ammonium sulfate. So I have added 1 to 2 spatula of ammonium sulfate to the solution. Now that point has been reached where no more ammonium sulfate is getting solubilized. So this is, you can find or you can easily see the uh, residue of ammonium sulfate. Now we are adding 2 drops of sodium nitroprusside with the help of pipette from the wall of test tube. After adding drops of sodium nitroprusside, we have to shake it little bit. Then we have to add 2 ml of strong ammonium sulfate with the help of pipette from the wall of test tube. We are just adding 2 ml of the solution that is strong ammonium solution Now, as earlier, we have to shake it a little bit. There is no changes in color or there is no development of permanent color which indicate absence of ketone bodies. Now we are doing the same procedure with a given sample of urine. We do not have any positive sample of urine. Thus, we have added acetone with urine to mimic the presence of ketone bodies. We are doing the same experiment as we have done it earlier with a normal urine sample. If we have the sample of person having kidney disease or kidney problem, our result will be positive. But due to the absence or inability of urine sample for kidney patients, we are just added acetone that will produce a presence of ketone bodies in the given sample. So we have mixed acetone with the urine sample. And that will indicate the presence of ketone by changing or developing a permanent color. So the principle is the same. We have added ammonium sulfate till the saturated solution is achieved. And again we will add the few drops of sodium nitroprusside and 2 ml of strong ammonium solution that will give the presence of a per magnet color. We have mixed it thoroughly and we are about to see that there is a presence of few crystals of ammonium sulfate. Now we are adding 2 drops of sodium nitroprusside on the sample. And again 2 ml of strong ammonia solution in a test tube.
the strong ammonia solution should be poured through the wall of test tube and as you can see on the screen we have shaked a little bit and it is start to developing a permanent color which is a clear indication of presence of ketone bodies in the given sample of urine so this test confirm the presence of ketone bodies in urine sample this is the first one no color this is the second one presence of permanent at the last of this experiment we have reached to the conclusion that given sample of urine which is having a ketone body in it will produce a permanent color with the reaction of ammonium solution and ammonium sulfate solution and sodium nitroprusside the permanent color is a clear indication that kidney is not functioning normally when a person is not able to utilize the insulin of its own it is start to break down the fat to produce a glucose so if a diabetic condition occurs that try to use the excess of fat to produce the glucose and that secreted or we can say that is excreted with the urine so this ketone body indicate the kidney function test